Okay, so identifying your optimal services as an interior design business owner or CEO is a, is, a, is a discussion that sometimes makes people throw up a little bit in their mouths because as a design business owner, you're thinking, wait, what? I, I make great interiors. Yeah, we know that. But you need to be able to speak about it in a way that differentiates you from the crowd. And it's a crowded playing field, as we know. So one of the ways to unwrap this gorgeous gift that is awaiting you in your business is to simply answer the question, what do you love to do? Or you want an even, even easier question, what do you hate doing? If you hate doing renovation, well, baby cakes, that means that that's not something you're going to want to put into your point of difference. Or if you really dislike doing kitchen design, uh, that's not the place you want to focus. And I give you the what do you hate doing question to answer. Because sometimes what do you love doing feels a little too general to answer. So start with what, do you don't, what don't you like doing? What don't you prefer doing? And from there, then start answering what do you love doing? Do you love doing blueprint reviews with people as they're getting ready to build or do a renovation? Do you love doing a particular design style? Are you all over mid-century modern? Maybe you are all over mid-century modern renovation. What do you absolutely love doing? Um, to help you answer that question, think back to some of your favorite projects that you've worked on. Not just the clients that you worked with, which certainly affects the project feeling that you have, but the aesthetic, what, what was going on in that project that you absolutely loved. So make a list of what do you hate, and what do you love, and then I would like you to start circling the top three to five loves that you have. Because here's the, here's the little trick. Generally speaking, the thing that you really love is the thing that you're really good at. And then one more question for you to answer. Answer the question, if, some, if I were to describe myself to somebody, if I was introducing myself at a party to someone, what personal characteristics would I use describing myself? Don't, don't be shy here. No room for humility here. I just want you to just pretend that you're introducing you to a group of other friends, okay? Not even clients, just friends. What would you say about you? So then look at those top characteristics you've named, the things that you love, and start seeing how you can develop that into a statement about who you are as a design business versus person down the block. And part three is coming at you in the next video.